Hey, how you doing? This is Africans Arise. Thanks for watching and subscribe to this channel. So let's talk about Africans and East Africans specifically, uh, and let's talk a little bit about genetic purity and racial purity. So you might have seen this article that came out toward the end of last year, uh, or this yeah this this story that came out toward the end of last year, 2015. Uh, it was reported in such ways. I'm going to read a few bits from this Daily Telegraph article. The Daily Telegraph is a British newspaper. So let's have a look. It says, Africans carry a huge amount of European DNA. East Africans have a quarter of DNA from Western Eurasians. The University of Cambridge has found. So we scroll down. And the article continues. It says, the differences between Europe, Africans and Europeans may only be skin deep after scientists found that populations are far more genetically similar than previously thought. Researchers at the University of Cambridge have mapped the earliest ever African genome from, the, from a 4,500 year old Ethiopian and compared it with the gen genetic makeup of populations across the continent. To their surprise, they found that compared with the earlier communities, up to one quarter of African DNA has come from interbreeding with Western Europeans, uh, sorry, Western Eurasians, such as people from Britain, Europe, and the West of Asia. Even isolated African communities were found to have around 5% of Eurasian DNA, suggesting that communities migrated to all parts of the continent. Scientists believe that most of the interbreeding occurred following a mysterious migratory event, which occurred around 3,000 years ago, so known as the Eurasian backflow, when modern humans who left Africa, African, Africa around 50,000 years ago suddenly flooded back. But the new study suggests that mind-blowing numbers of people must have moved back to account for the presence in the DNA of modern Africans, out accounting for around one-third of the population. Quote, roughly speaking, the wave of Europe of sorry, the wave of West Eurasian migration back into the Horn of Africa could have been of as much as thirty percent of the population that was already that already lived there, and that to me is mind blowing. Unquote, said Dr. Andrea Manika, senior author of the study from the University of Cambridge's Department of Zoology. So I'll stop there. Uh, the article kind of continues with some questions about why you know, why this migration happened. Uh, actually, let me let me read this last little bit from, from the article. This is quite interesting. So it's saying there's, there's no obvious climactic reasons, but it says here, archaeological evidence does, however, show the migration coincided, coincided with the arrival of Near Eastern crops into East Africa, such as wheat and barley, suggesting the migrants helped develop new forms of agriculture in the region. So this is, I'll stop there, I'll come back to this, this part of the article in a minute, talking about the rest of Africa. Um, now this is a very interesting article. Uh, what, the reason this is very interesting for me is because it's, you know, I know in here in the black conscious world, there's, a, there's, a lot, there's lots of ideas about racial purity and, you know, a lot of people are very, very proud about, you know, we're black and, you know, we're not white. And a lot of people are, are you know, really against race mixing and all this kind of stuff. And, um, and this this is going to be this must be a troubling troubling piece of uh, of you know troubling suggestions being put forward by this uh, by this study. You know, it's talking about east, particularly focusing on the Horn of Africa. It's saying that in the Horn of Africa, up to twenty to twenty five percent of the DNA of modern day Ethiopians, for example, is you know descended from these Western Eurasians. Uh, now. Just a little thing. Uh, while I was looking into this article just today, uh, I noticed that there's there's been a slight correction to this report, to this to this study, and this re this relates to the rest of the African continent, because okay, I'll I'll quote again from the you know from one of the authors. It says genomes from this migration, the Western European Western Eurasia migration, seeped right across the continent, way beyond East Africa, from the Yoruba on the western coast to the Mbuti in the heart of Congo, who show as much as seven percent typo again. Gosh, these anyway, seven percent or and six percent of their genomes respectively to be West Eurasian. Says Marcos Gallego uh, Lorente, first author of the study, also from Cambridge's zo zoology department. Now this actually isn't isn't correct, and the the, the authors of the study actually uh, released a a correction, which uh, which can be found here. So this the, I read about this on uh, in the Nature 
Nature news uh, magazine here, and it says that uh, basically there was some sort of software error that, that, that they talk about, and, and basically the error the error means that uh, they claim that the DNA of Africans in other parts of the continent is also you know has has uh, up, you know up to six seven percent is actually was actually false, and they correct that and say that's not true, and this was an error. Basically, there was some software thing that should have been run, but it wasn't run, and so. Yeah, so that 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 kind of that kind of focuses the attention back onto the East African specifically. So uh, a headline like this, which is in the uh, Independent, is is more accurate. East Africans may have up to a quarter of Asian and European DNA, says report, uh, and this is the kind of head. The actual original report has been changed as well. The title is now "Ancient Ethiopian Genome Reveals Extensive Eurasian Admixture in Eastern Africa." Before, I believe it just said. Uh, Africa altogether. So, yeah, this this for me, this is some fascinating stuff. I'll be interested to know what you guys think of this. Uh, for example, I know a lot of people are very, very proud of the Ethiopian Empire. You know, they'll talk about, oh, the Ethiopian Empire was fantastic and how they fought against the Italians, the only kingdom in Africa not to be colonized and so forth. Does your, do your views change a little bit or are you, how does this kind of make you feel what, what do you think about this when when you know it appears that the ethiopians might be the the you know the most mixed with you with western uh, eurasian dna uh for me it's you know it doesn't really make that much of a difference because i don't buy to this whole racial purity thing i believe that there i know that there are races there's you know definitely different genetic groups that have got you know real big distinctions between between them but I'm not one of those people, for example, who would uh, say that. Oh well, if you're mixed, then you're not you're not black, and so forth. I mean, okay, in a way, yes, people who are mixed race or biracial or mulatto, whatever you want to call them, yes, they're mixed. They're not kind of you know they wouldn't fit into what we generally cons you know, socially consider to be black. But uh, I, you know, it's for me, your race is important. Race is significant, but there are bigger de or deeper kind of um, deeper things deeper deeper factors to, to come into play to do with things like identification to do with things like political identification to do with uh, economic identification to do with uh, you know your behavior and, and and that kind of stuff I think that uh, you know it's it's common it's bloody obvious that you know all humans are are in some way mixed you know this idea that sub-saharan Africa is you know is completely and utterly pure black Africans is, you know, for me, it's just waiting for, for, for refutation, really. You know, a lot of the time people are just going by, you know, just outward kind of simplistic outward notions of blackness. So, oh, if you're this black, then you're black, black. Whereas, you know, they might look at Somalis and Ethiopians and say, oh, well, they're kind of mixed, uh, you know. And it's interesting, this, this, on this, article, the BBC article, right at the bottom, there's a quote from someone saying that, Apparently, previous studies, and so not this one that, that, that was found to have the slight error with regard to the other Africans, but it says that previous studies have uh, documented substantial West Eurasian ancestry in some, some sub-Saharan African populations, including Nigerians and Khoisan from Southern Africa. Uh, so, I mean, Nigerians isn't really a... Okay, it's, it's a national group, but it'll be interesting to know what, what groups... Apparently, there are some groups in Africa, not just in the Horn of Africa, but other parts of Africa, which have got substantial West Eurasian DNA. I guess the kinds of issues that we need to be talking about is what does this West Eurasian mean? Is it specifically talking about Europeans? Are we talking about white people basically migrating and moving into into different parts of Africa, moving into the Horn of Africa thousands of years ago, three you know a thousand years BC, and introducing things like the you know the the, the wheat and the barley and all, the, all those kind of things. And I, yeah, for me, it's, it's just fascinating stuff, you know, to think that some of the, the, the most common basic kind of foodstuffs, for example, and agricultural practices might have come from these West Eurasian, uh, these West Eurasian immigrants. It's all fascinating stuff. Now, don't, what well, again, what I suggest you do, don't lash out, don't just, you know, don't throw a hissy fit because your, you know, your ideas have been questioned. Just take your time, slow down, take your time. It would be really good if someone could look into these things, really study out these things and find some, some more inf information about these things to help us to understand things. But uh, yeah, I'd just be interested to know what people think about this. Thank you for watching. This is Africans Arise. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to check the Facebook page. It's Africans Arise now. And share the video. And I'll see you.